Once upon a time, a cult tried to do what cults do best. Summon things. I don't see a portal. Did you translate it right? Yes. But it's not working. Any fine print? Oh, yes, here. The planets need to be aligned. In a line. <sighs> that won't happen, like ever. Physics and all. That's it. I'm calling Dominic. Be inspired with Dominic? Yes, be inspired with Dominic. He is awesome. Why him? The planets won't align? Well, he can make them. For this project we need blanks. Jupiter. I had the idea to make it in two halves to hollow out the inside. I have no idea whether that works, but that's what makes this fun. And also science. Now I realize I had a problem. This blank is too wide. This is why you should always keep your shop clean. And I want to talk. As a YouTuber, you're always secretly hoping that your video explodes, as in takes off. But now I'm recording that one, just to make sure I have footage when it explodes. What? Do you know how the extreme forces of gravity deform a round object that's hurling through space and spinning around itself? I don't, so let me do my job. For Jupiter, this one should do. 
which I'm holding upside down because at some point I dropped it. What I actually wanted to do was spin it fast enough to expel all the excess paint. I'll try to think of something. I made art. That's me being impatient. Mainly because these cult hits are not paying by the hour. I think I did it wrong. I built up the colors pretty well. If I managed to remove just enough, it would probably look amazing. But just enough with OSB on the lathe and a tad of sandpaper on something that rough is pretty much impossible. Can't be helped, let's do a little sanding. That wasn't a good idea. There's no OSB showing through. So what I do now is free the OSB, use the 80 grit sandpaper and see what's underneath here. Maybe it looks promising. I actually like how it turned out. Uh, you, we get to see a lot more wood, if you can call it wood, whatever that is, that's an OSB. I think it's wood. For now, I'll sand this through the grids, as you do, and I use a trusted rag and give it the, the beeswax treatment, which usually works out nicely, but I'm not sure. I'm sensing a theme here. This way, I can take it out. This way, not. So it's really not a sphere. Not my problem if Jupiter can't conform to artistic license. Okay, that's not how it was supposed to go. It should be said now. If not, I'm fully prepared to give you a speech about how Saturn has well-known flat spots near the poles. I don't know how exactly I forgot that, but it's common knowledge taught in every school that Saturn has this flat spot near the, I think it's the South Pole.
I've had this for a while and it's not sponsored or anything. It does the same that you could do with this calipers. Put it against the wood and up there you see the diameter that you've turned to. So I find it pretty easy to get to an accurate measurement. This one, which will be your rectum, needs to be five centimeters in diameter. So have the center now to five five. And this is what happens when you turn down in the center and realize you're too small. So you try to salvage what you can. This will be the base. I did the math and I found my shop is way too small to do the distance between the planets to scale. Would be a cool shop though. I also want to include the sun and that would be a sphere with a diameter of 1.4 meters. Which would be cool to turn but not on my lathe. So I want to take this as a, sorry, take this as a background and cut it to the, well, the curve that the sun would have. Just loosely go like this. Given the height of the biggest planet, we want the sun to extend a little bit above that. So if we were making a doomsday device, this would be a cool feature. But instead I'd probably just glue it down to keep the distance. Hardwood as an option for the smaller planets. No, not on the table, sir. Thank you. 
Ta-da! I hope that'll work for these cultists. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, except for a few learning experiences like the, the poles, but they did all right. Mainly the coloring here. There is some orange still visible and I would spin it for you, but that would wax Saturn and Mars out of orbit. Saturn without rings is unusual, but given that the rings would slice through pretty much the rest of them, I opted out of those. As you saw, I treated my planets to the proper dose of cosmic radiation and solar winds, also known as spray lacquer. And to give credit where credit is due, a while back I posted a picture on Instagram of my OSB wand where I used purple spray lacquer, purple metallic spray lacquer. And someone commented that it looks like a planet or gas giant or Jupiter actually. And that got me thinking, so I just hope that these cultists will be satisfied and I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please like and subscribe. Remember to ring the bell so you get notified whenever I upload videos. And if you want to make that sure that you're well informed, also subscribe to my newsletter. I'll put a link in the description below. Not into the solar system, it's, it will be there, but in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and as always, well, let's see what the cult has to say. I'm cold. Me too. Let's go home and have a cup of Eldritch tea. Can we have cookies? Uh, yes, let's go. Looks like Dominic messed up. But he's usually so inspired. But we failed to summon the inspired one. Dominic is awesome, he's great, his puns are witty and his commentary is deep. Is he paying you? Yes. Cookies are on you then. Okay. Hmm. Something's not right. Oh. Hmm. And remember to be inspired. When suddenly, Cultist 3 was all alone. But to that time, I'll just wear the cold. I probably just. Can you see me? Draw the. Set up some. Set up some.